Sketch text can include data variable names. That is, as the data changes, the sketch text changes on the drawing. We call this dynamic sketch text. In sketch text, the data associated with the variable name is displayed. We can demonstrate this by opening up a file called dynamic sketch text and we will demonstrate several different ways of uh, displaying information on the drawing which is dynamically related to the data associated with the analysis. We can look at different sketch texts in define and contour and ultimately we can actually have text in contour per analysis. Opening GeoStudio, browse dynamic sketch text file. To begin with, let's put some labels on this drawing identifying the material properties and there are several ways this can be done. To start with, we say sketch text. I will delete what was in the sketch text and click on insert field. Insert field and you can see that we have by default we have some material properties that we can place on the drawing and uh, we'll begin with that and we can then select from this list which properties we want to see on the drawing. Let's select the name, not the model, the unit weight, the cohesion, the friction angle. We'll uh, not show uh, Phi B, delete, add weight, piezometric line, B bar, and then we have an option to show it for all materials or just one region at a time. If we say all materials, then at the bottom here there are some options, include labels, include units, and show new properties, and we can say insert and you see that there are now some variable names. All of these variable names can be changed and edited at this stage. But for illustrative purposes right now, if we move off this dialog box and click anywhere on the drawing, we will see we get the names associated with the materials. I should have clicked closer down to the actual uh, problem itself. I can say modify objects, click up, pick up this object and move it further down. So that's one way of uh, altering the, uh, or rather to put the information about the materials on the drawing. Notice now that if I go back to the define view, and I will rename the uh, material called fill, key in materials. Fill, let's call this fill embankment. And when I close this dialog box now, you notice that on the drawing, the name has changed as well. The same is true for uh, the actual numeric values. If we say, key in materials and in the embankment material if we change the cohesion to 10 kPa and close we notice that on the drawing the cohesion value also changes. I will click undo to get back to the original problem. I can also say sketch text and I will now delete these variable names and say 
insert and this time I will show the material properties in a table here's then an illustration of another format of showing the uh, material properties and once again we can move the position and change it to some other location just to illustrate that there are several different ways of providing this dynamic sketch text on the drawing I will get rid of the table and retain what I had previously here in a sort of a tabular format now there's another option that can be rather useful sometime under view preferences and that is to say that do you want to see the contour sketch items in define currently we are in define and we do not want to see the contour sketch items when I get to contour I will have the option of showing the define sketch items so in this case we are not viewing in the define view we are not viewing this the, the uh, results sketch items clicking on the results view icon then notice that in this case here under view preferences that I am not I am not looking at the define sketch objects and as a result I don't see the material properties in the tabular form a as they are appear in the contour view I have here in the middle of the drawing a statement that says factor of safety ranges between 0 0.47 and 0 0.997 I'm going to delete this statement here and recreate it in order to demonstrate how we can show the range of the factor of safety map what this means is that within the red band the factor of safety is between 0 0.947 and 0 0.997 actually that should be 0 0.948 there is a slight round off issue here as to how this value is portrayed versus this one here so we say modify objects click on this objects delete it now we can say sketch text deleting what's in the dialog box click on insert field and we go to advanced and there are lots of categories here file information project cell things material properties a whole range of objects that can be drawn and placed dynamically on the drawing itself so clicking then on insert fields here are all the advanced topics we can uh, in this particular case expand the contour settings and the settings for the safety map and I want to have the minimum level I do not want to include the label I'll make up my own label and then I my maximum label and insert it I should have inserted uh, my minimum level and I forgot to click on insert so now we can say insert field and minimum and click on insert and now I can edit this phrase here going to home right at the start I say the factor of safety 
in the red zone is between the minimum value and the and the maximum value. And once I go outside the dialog box, I get a plus sign as to where to place this phrase. And we now have the factor of safety in the red zone is between 0 0.947 and 0 0.997. We can now alter the size of this text by saying sketch modified text and we can select a bigger font say 16 points just to demonstrate that these are dynamic fields if we go draw safety map and we alter the range to say 0 0.04 then and hit apply we see that the value here and the range has been altered dynamically depending on what is done in the selection of the contour range there are two analyses in this file one analysis and a second one. When I click on the second one, notice that the phrase about the red zone is missing. It is, however, does exist for the first one. The reason for this is that you can selectively put your dynamic text on a drawing that is specific to the analysis. Say sketch, modify text, Clicking on this text, we see here that we have said that this text is for the current analysis only. If we had said all analyses, then it would appear on analysis 1 and 2. In this case, we opted to place this text only on the current analysis. This option of sketch data on drawings per analysis is unfortunately only available for sketch text. It's not available for other sketch objects like sketch line, sketch circle, and so forth. So in the results view, the dynamic sketch text can be per analysis. Going back to our PowerPoint presentation, just some more illustration of dynamic sketch text. We can label our drawings as to the person who created it, the author, the analysis name, the file name, and so forth. If we go back to GeoStudio and open up the file Big Rock, file open big rock you will go if we go to the geo studio view and at the geo studio view desktop view click on analysis you can see here that you can give the project a title, Big Rock Mine. You can give it an author as to who has done the analysis. Here we have the analysis name, Northwall Stability. This information is available as dynamic sketch text. And if we look at this view here, we see that the Big Rock Mine, this was the uh, project name that we had given this was the project name 
So this is dynamic sketch text. The author in this particular case is dynamic sketch text. The analysis name, which one of the analysis, and we can put things like the name of the file on the drawing itself. In this particular case here, if we say sketch, modify text, and click on an existing text, we see here that the project name was selected from insert field, the file information, the title. And the same thing with uh, the uh, sketch, modify text. In this particular case, we can see we have a label here created by the file info author. And it comes from this advanced list created by. So there is lots of information that you can place dynamically on the drawing which changes as the file name changes and it is there to help and aid you with communication and keeping track of drawings and documenting drawings. One more illustration in this particular case just for illustrative purposes we have imported a corporate logo and so we have imported a picture and the imported picture has been placed in the corner here as a corporate logo and once again the corporate logo once the picture has been imported can be modified just like any other object can be modified and placed at certain locations. That is a brief illustration of how to place dynamic sketch text or data on the drawings where the data when the data changes the labels on the drawing change and uh, it should be sufficient to give you the idea of what can be done by placing both text and data and information on the drawing as well as putting symbols like corporate logos on a drawing if desirable. So this brings us to the end of this session on dynamic sketch text.